folks. So by now you know I'm a bit of a high extreme kind of guy. I like my racing, my dirt bikes, my road bikes. I like to go fast. I also like tools. The right tool for the job is extremely important. Uh, and racing, you know, I sponsor a pro motocrosser, uh, a pro sprint racer, a local motocrosser. Uh, we just like to go fast here. And efficiency, time is money. So when we get all these permits coming in, uh, the girls in the office, they kind of get backed up. The mail system's just not good enough. So we like to, uh, we utilize this for the office. We like to get up and down the interstate pretty quick. So this is our uh, Tank Masters race car. The girls love it. Gets in and out of those city parking areas. Saves money. So, today's a Monday. We all know how they suck. But that just made it a little better. For all you motorheads that are out there, I know you'll probably ask, and that is a 2000 15 Z06 7 speed supercharged 650 horsepower to the ground. So, any car that you've got to hold on to the wheel with two hands, that's a fun car. So, today, wow, if everything works out the way the homeowners want, it's going to be a super boring job, but it's just something that you have to do. I have two homeowners, ironically, right next to each other. Not ironically, the girls planned it that way. Nice job to Casey and Krista. They scheduled both of these homeowners, one of which we've already done a tank removal. This will be our first one. He has another property in the back where uh, when he purchased it, he was told that uh, there's no tank. The tank was removed, but the vent pipe is still there. Copper lines coming in. All the things that should have been taken care of during the actual removal process weren't um, but I remember seeing a depression uh, in the assumed area uh, so for me that means it wasn't properly compacted it sunk so the tank is removed so we're hired to go out there and prove whether there is or isn't a tank and then provide documentation so with that one um, I went through the process of getting permits scheduling coordinating a tank removal in the event we do find a tank, I want to be able to take care of the tank right then and there. I don't want to have to reschedule and come out and do that. Uh, so that's our first one. Um, we don't find a tank, what a boring video. So my apology now. The other one is the property right next, nice folks, referred by the gentleman we're doing the first job for. Um, same situation, they purchased the property, they were told the tank was taken care of probably 20 years ago. It wasn't a big thin thing back then, uh, but now they're thinking about selling, and it is a big thing now. They have no paperwork, they have no documentation proving, and they have copper lines coming in through the basement. So on that one, um, when I looked at it, I don't think there's a tank there. As a matter of fact, I'm almost positive there's not a tank there. So I didn't call the town and set up for permits just to help minimize their costs for the project so i'm going to excavate down in the assumed area find those copper lines because you'll see that they they're, they've been cut or capped uh, then i'll go down about six feet in two different areas i'll take pid readings and then i'll procure a sample uh, so then they'll have paperwork from us stating uh, what we did when we did it what we saw uh, and samples to back up the results of that soil proving there's no environmental impact on the property. So that's it. Potential of being a super boring uh, video, but it's all we got. It's a Monday. Um, tomorrow we start a remediation. Uh, so not a lot of action. I, I like to see tanks and touch tanks and cut them open and clean them and get them out of the ground. That, that for me, that's fun. Uh, so none of that this week. We're going to do a four-day remediation after we take care of this. Boys are on their way in. We load up and we head out. This is property is in Spring Valley, Nanuet, Rockland County area. Two surgery. So here's the one job we initially did that house. 
in the front. This gentleman owns this property. He just wanted us to see if there were a tank back here. And I don't know, what indication did we have, Craig? We saw... We found copper lines in the basement. It, I think it was primarily this depression right here. The metal detector went off somewhere. And the metal detector went off here. But didn't we find something when we moved that? Uh, vent pipe. The vent pipe right there. It, so there's a vent pipe right there. So we'll do some digging here, but this depression tells me that it was removed. So in order to sign off on it, we got to get out here. And now I just noticed a well head. So that's what we're doing at this property. And then we're at that property too with this, not the same situation. They think the tank had been removed. So it's kind of fun one, right? We could come here and find no tanks or two tanks. If it's two full tanks, we are unprepared. I'm going to need a vac truck out here. So, we got Jammer down there with three trucks off of a main road. We're going to head back down there and um, offload the equipment. We're doing this guy first because I think we're better off to find a tank here. So, if that's the case, we have to make inspection. What time is inspection? Why don't we ever know what time inspection is? We always beat it. It's no rush. Good point, Craig. Good point. So after the congregation, uh, Corey straightened everything out for us. Um, you have a college degree, right? In Associates. what? Criminal uh, justice. What? Criminal justice. Criminal justice, wow. I never knew that. So we're gonna bring uh, Big Red. We're gonna park her right there. She's gonna stay there for the day. We're gonna bring the box truck and Mason up. And because I don't think we're going to find any tank, I'm just going to leave the other Mason dump truck with soil down here somewhere. And then when we go investigate that other property, I'm just going to track all the way down and then up their driveway. That's the plan, folks. Okay, so that was easy. You can clearly see the uh, copper line right there. And we pulled the other out right here. And stone. So that's what the company used to backfill the tank void. They filled it with stone. It's the only reason why stone would be here. So this tank was previously taken out. I guess they didn't notice. So well, they had to have noticed the vent pipe because they cut it from the tank. Uh, so we'll just cut that and then we'll um, we'll cut, remove, and concrete patch the uh, copper lines going in. So that was successful, boys. Yes, sir. Let's see if that smells. But we have, that's true. We, I've got a PID meter, so I'm going to get to the bottom of this pea gravel because that's where the tank was lying. Then I'll take a scoop of that soil and I'll do a PID reading on it. Okay, so while we scheduled this, we actually went and applied for a tank removal permit. In the event uh, that we did find a tank, we're prepared to finish the project. Uh, so now, to finish our investigation, you can see the stone ends right about there. So I dug beneath the stone, took a sample, bagged it. Go ahead, Cor. And now we're just going to get a reading. Mm. I guess that was possibly a sloppy worker, but it's just tracing all acceptable. Okay, 
So we called the inspector for that job. Left the void open just in case he wants to come and see it. Um, and now we're going over to the neighbor's property. Good thing I'm thin and nimble. Keep me. Oh, we were lost too, don't we? Here we have a missing tank. Ah, uh, we kind of knew it was removed previously, but. I say, did we, and, and when I went up the driveway, I'm like, now nah, I remember this other house. Yep. Boy, you dropped the glasses. <sighs> now I got a see. We have a missing tank. Apparently. So it was, it was previously backfilled with this pea gravel. Yeah. And when we came here initially, we saw the copper lines that were cut inside. Okay. Never saw the vent pipe. Came out here, saw the vent pipe there. Yep. So we dug down and see that's where it was filled. You can see the, co the one copper line still there. Mm -hmm. So I went beneath it about 18 inches, took a PID reading, it's good. Well, and we're going to remove that vent pipe now. Okay. Yeah, so we'll take the vent pipe out. And we're going to go inside and remove the copper, smash it in, and then uh, concrete it over with marine. Perfect. I'll do that yep. Well, and we'll get you all the information. Yeah, I'll, uh, let me give you my card. Yeah, so. Uh, we have your stuff. Oh, uh, yeah. That vent pipe removed? Nine, yes. Nine different landscapers. Two. So that vent pipe right has been cut and removed. That was two and days. the boys are raking this all back. And how many bars? Two bars. <laughs> nice job, guys. No problem. OMW, on my way to you. Good at what I do. I'm OMW. Watch me walk away, putting myself on display. One, two, three a day. I'm on my way, on my way. I'ma have you on tiptoes. Watching my. I can't see. She just got me. Come on. Come in to you. Down and dig. Down and dig. 
that what you were picking up, Craig? I don't know. Oh, you were picking up something? Sorry, let me say. Just right on the house, but it's electric. But this was like a oh, yeah, drain line or something. Where is you? All right, so we're at a depth where we, we should have hit the top of the tank already. We've got a clay discharge pipe right over there, which is possibly septic. A little more, a little more. Right there. Yeah. Now he's going to get one scoop right there, and that's where we'll take our PID reading, which is going to be well over four feet below grade. Then there is nothing there. All right, that's good. Get that PID meter. So we'll grab a sample right from the bottom teeth here. But I know it's good. Okay, Mike, grab that sample. Hey, leave that right there, yeah. Let's put it in. Nothing. All right, so that's clean. So we're good. So we're just gonna go right over here and dig a little. ID meter, we'll bag that and we'll run a sample. Okay, so Craig just did a good job. He dug out of that. We put this tree back. He's putting the gutter back. It's all compacted. We took that sample. We'll run that sample. Uh, 8260, 8270 stars memo. Uh, that's the required sample for the DEC. It's a stringent one. Um, and they'll hold on to this information so when they get to sell, uh, they'll have all the paperwork that they need. So we're going to finish this up now, sweep it up, clean up. All right, Jammer is going to secure the machine. A successful day. Two nice homeowners. Gave them both great news. No tanks. Early day. I don't even think it's 11 o'clock. That's another fine job by Tank Masters Environmental.